On behalf of the American Medical College of Homeopathy, I'd like to welcome you. Modern students have many choices of what career path to choose. One of the most important choices is whether they want to pursue a path in conventional medicine or whether they want to pursue a path in alternative medicine. My interest in homeopathy started simultaneously with two main things. The one was I was facing some health challenges with my son. When he was doing conventional medicine, he had multiple different issues and each of them were be being treated separately and he was never really seen as a whole person. His homeopathic experience was very different where he was seen as a whole human being and all of his illnesses were seen as one, um, one central issue relating to an imbalance in his energy system. And once that became balanced or corrected, he was free of his asthma, free of his eczema, and free of his ADD. Concurrently, as a medical professional, I was also struggling internally with um, the philosophy of allopathic medicine um, as it relates to medicine as a business and medicine as a philosophy. And it was kind of contrary to my inner belief about what health and healing should be about. Having studied um, mind-body medicine, acupuncture, Chinese medicine, mind-body therapies, psychoneuroimmunology, all of these have a place for me um, and I find that they're supportive of patients but what was profound for me was actually seeing profound transformative life-changing experiences with homeopathy that I haven't really seen um, in other forms of medicine. Homeopathy is one of 250 forms of alternative medicine that exist in the world today. It's the second most common form of alternative medicine, and it's said to be the fastest growing form of alternative medicine. It's been around for several hundred years, founded by Dr. Samuel Hahnemann out of Germany, and it provides a form of healing that is inexpensive, curative of chronic disease, and gentle. Uh, in producing minimal side effects. To become a good homeopath, you must be not only a chemist, a biologist, a zoologist, but you also must be a naturalist. You have to be an anthropologist. You have to be a psychologist. Just about any kind of ist um, you need to be in order to be a good homeopath. And so the study of homeopathy is much broader in a way than that of conventional medicine where we study the whole natural world and how we can engage um, our patients and act in a curative healing kind of way. The production of the, of the remedies are very green in that there's no um, industrial waste. There's no excretion from the patient into the, um, into the water. And we're also able to preserve the essence of um, many of the species of plant and animal that are going to become endangered at some point and we can preserve their remedy status without um, impacting them on a long-term basis. The medicines that students study in the program are living medicines that come from the natural world. Whereas the treatment modalities in conventional medicine tend to be fairly dead. For example, if you look at the medicine Prozac, it certainly is a chemical structure, but it doesn't alive, it doesn't have a personality, it doesn't have a meaning in our culture that a medicine like the plant Pulsatilla nigrans or the animal Budio jamasensis, a red-tailed hawk, or the mineral sulfur have. Each of our medicines are alive and they have a personality and a meaning that our students study and learn about. Homeopathy for me has really taken me back to my roots of what I've always wanted to do as a healer. When I went into conventional medicine, my goal was to really have the kind of old style practice where you treat a whole family, where you treat the baby from birth through school, through graduation, through college, and you treat the parents and the grandparents and 
the aunts and uncles and you know the whole family. There's a level of trust and understanding and mutuality that I think is very much missing in commercial medicine today. The American Medical College of Homeopathy offers a variety of programs, beginning with introductory programs, which are targeted at teaching the public, uh, medical students and residents, a little bit about what it is to engage in homeopathy, to acute care programming, which teach how to prescribe homeopathic medicines on, for acute problems, to our certificate programs, which typically are about 900 hours in length, our part-time programs and teach how to practice constitutional prescribing on a deep level. And then more recently we have begun to embark on a project to build a homeopathic medical school and we are very excited about this project because we believe that it will allow our students to go much more deeply into studying homeopathy and to become more effective as practitioners. One of the things that I really found powerful about the school was there's a commitment to academics and learning, but not only that, but there was a, an alchemy that happens during the time that you're there that I think the teachers are especially tuned to. You not only acquire information, but you actually acquire the ability to um, learn how to learn. It's actually about seeing, it's about being able to receive information in a compassionate, non-judgmental way. Um, you have to know how to manage your cases, manage your practice, and I think that's very well handled at AMCH. I've studied many forms of alternative medicine, and I've never come across any form of healing that has as deep of a capacity to reach into the individual and to transform their lives. And I believe this is so because homeopathy is one of the most holistic forms of healing. And that is it does truly reach not only the physical dimensions, but also the emotional, mental, and spiritual. Freedom for me is the real gift of homeopathy. It gives me freedom for me as a healthcare practitioner to really um, give my patients the gift of their own freedom. Their freedom to, to actually find their fullest potential as a human being, um, their freedom to get beyond their physical complaints, their emotional limitations, and to actually take patients who were limited in some way and expand their life.